so let me start with my sort of background into VPNs. You know, I think my first VPN was back in 2018, I believe. I remember it was a free VPN, which is a big no-no. Uh, especially nowadays, if you are getting it for the security reasons, because they, you know, the way they make money is that they collect a lot of data, and that's the last thing you want out of a VPN, obviously. So I felt this strange feeling when uh, when I realized that ISPs can actually eavesdrop and, and really see what you're doing online, because I think there's a reason why we have, you know, curtains in our homes, right? <laughs> we, do, we, we do it for privacy reasons, and, and online, a lot of people just sort of roll with it. Yeah, there's this argument that I have nothing to hide, so oh, yeah. I will just get on there and use it. I don't need any kind of protection. But that's a dangerous approach because the moment you do have something you want to protect, mm. it might just be something ordinary like your banking or your, your gaming. Uh, but when you do do that, then um, it's probably too late if you switch to a VPN by that point. It makes mm -hmm. sense to have that protection from the get-go. And, and yeah, and exactly. And going back to, you know, security aspect, another big thing is like unsecure public Wi-Fi's uh, because uh, I actually use them quite a bit uh, whenever I'm in a cafe or uh, actually I used to go uh, always uh, to visit my parents via train mm -hmm. and trains have also Wi-Fi that is unprotected. You can just connect to it. And here in Lithuania, we, we even have trolley buses. Okay, buses yeah, but they'd have Wi-Fi? They have Wi-Fi. But surely those trips are just a few minutes, right? Yeah, but you still have Wi-Fi, okay. which is really cool. It's everywhere. It's pervasive. <laughs> so have you ever tried looking at a packet capture when you connect to Wi-Fi without, you know, on the back of my laptop, you might have seen uh, PCAP or it didn't happen. This is how we monitor network connectivity, um, particularly when we want to see what's happening on the wire. Okay. And it's super interesting to see what you can learn about your own. You're not snooping on other people, hopefully. But if, if you want to check out how your connection can be seen by others, whether they're authorities, governments, or the people just running the Wi-Fi, or even just other users on your Wi-Fi network, you can use a, a packet capture tool, a PCAP uh, tool, and, and you can just see each packet as it passes, and you'll see that the addresses that you visit can be viewed. Um, they, can, uh, they can also see the Wi-Fi frames, and uh, hopefully they won't actually get your passwords. As long as you're going through HTTPS, right? Uh, yeah. So, but is it just, uh, and this can happen on like public Wi-Fi, mm. uh, but uh, you've tried it on your own where there's a password, which you have to enter a password. You can do it on your own when you know the password. Okay. But unless you're hacking the other person's password, which is a different game, then hopefully you won't actually look inside their Wi-Fi. But that risk is always there. You know, if you've given a friend your Wi-Fi password, say a couple of years ago, and you know how Apple phones can just send the password to another device? Oh, yeah. You don't know who actually has access to your Wi-Fi. So that risk is always there. Yeah, and, and also, especially if some people don't switch their phones very often or, or upgrade their phones, Android as well has this feature where they save all the networks that, you, that you've had. And there's a new feature, uh, I believe started in, on Android 11, where you can also, uh, also as you said, share like via QR mm -hmm. code. Mm -hmm. And this can be printed. And people can connect to it as well. Yeah, so. and also saving to the cloud, like on your Amazon Fire Stick and different TV streaming devices. There's always this option. And, you know, it looks very convenient because, you know, it's so annoying typing in your Wi-Fi password oh, with that nice. little keyboard and two buttons. Oh, my God, I hate But it. yet, for me, I haven't got past that trust barrier where <laughs> I would personally send my Wi-Fi to the company. But I'm pretty sure my fr family members have already done this. So probably when it comes to my home <laughs> network, I'm, I'm not sure it could be hit and miss.